Today we're going to talk about some maintenance tips and tricks using the Philips Saeco 5400 Latte Go Espresso Machine. The 5400 being a super automatic means that it grinds its own coffee, tamps it, and then dispenses its own espresso. And what's special about these machines is that it has a removable brew unit, making it extremely easy to maintain. By popular demand, Espresso Canada created this SOS maintenance kit uh, for our customers which includes everything you need to make sure your machine is running 100% all of the time. It includes decalcifying solution for descaling, one aqua clean filter, espresso machine cleaning powder and cleaning tablets, a syringe and lubricant for your brew unit, as well as some O-rings and it comes to you in this handy container. So first, the aqua clean filter. You won't need to descale your machine for 5,000 cups, but that's based on eight aqua clean filter changes. Um, you can see on this machine, it's super convenient that the water tank is front loading. My aqua clean filter is already installed. Um, and on the machines, all of the Latego machines are extremely intuitive, so they will prompt you when you need to change your aqua clean filter. On the 5400 in particular, you can see it's a per, uh, percentage countdown. Next in the SOS maintenance kit are your Kafiza powder and your Kafiza tablets. So first we're gonna talk about the tablets. Um, these are really for your brew unit. Your brew unit is the heart and mind of your espresso machine. You wanna make sure that um, this is really taken care of and clean so that your machine has a long life. Um, so once a week, you should be taking out your brew unit, giving it a good rinse with warm water in the sink. Um, but once a month, you should be using the um, cleaning tablets. And this is going to clean the filter screen of your brew unit. So all you're going to have to do is take out one of the tablets, put it into your bypass doser. On the 5400, you're gonna be clicking clean, scrolling down one to brew unit clean, and letting the machine do its thing. Uh, it's gonna do all the hard work for you. Uh, and when it's done, just make sure you make a long coffee throw it out, and then you can start enjoying your machine again. My favorite part about this machine is obviously the latte go function. Um, it's super easy to use. You can make all of your favorite specialty drinks with just the push of a button. Um, you can store your leftover milk in the fridge. It's just awesome. Um, but every few days for health and safety purposes, it's important that you clean out this carafe. Um, in the user manual of the machine, it says that you can put this in the dishwasher. Um, however, at Espresso Canada, we recommend that you don't do this because it will make it cloudy and give it a funny smell. So we just recommend washing it by hand using the Kafiza powder. So all you need to do is empty out the leftover milk you might have um, and then fill your tub that we gave you as part of the SOS kit with one teaspoon of the Kafiza powder and um, some warm water and then we'll put it in here to rinse for about 20 minutes. So after that 20 minutes, I'm just gonna rinse it out with some warm water and let it air dry off to the side. Every four to six months, it's gonna be really important to give your brew unit a deep clean uh, in order to strip the old lubricant off and just get rid of all of the coffee grounds and, and built up coffee that might be on it. Um, so similar to the um, Latte Go, you're going to put it in the bucket that we gave you in the SLS pad Put one tablespoon of the Kafiza powder um, and then put some hot water on it. You're going to keep it um, soaking for one hour or even overnight. Up next is the uh, lubricant and the syringe for your brew unit. So once you've stripped the brew unit, you uh, it's important every three to four months, again, just for regular upkeep and maintenance to use the uh, lubricant on the moving mechanisms of your um, brew unit just to make sure that everything is running smoothly. As part of the maintenance kit, you're going to get some O-rings. The two larger O-rings are for your brew unit um, and these need to be changed annually or as required. In your brew unit, if your O-ring is looking dark, worn or torn, uh, you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and very simply, it's just going to come out like that. So we'll grab one of the new O-rings and simply place it on. The 3's 
smaller O-rings as part of your packet is for the boiler stem, which can be found right behind your brew unit. Um, if you're finding that your coffee is coming out really watery for some reason, or you have excess water in your drip tray, it might be time to change your boiler stem O-ring. Okay, so how do you change these? You need to get to the machine's service door. You'll have to take out the water tank. I'm gonna take out the drip tray. And here's the service door on the side. And we'll need to take out the brew unit. So to make this easier on yourself, I'm gonna use two hands. So your bo boiler stem O-ring is the one on the top. And that's the only one you're concerned with because it's the only one that uh, handles the pressure. So I'm using a little bit of a pick and you can either just break it or slide it out in order to replace it. With the one you're replacing, you're going to slide it up um, that piece there until it's in the correct placement. Then you're going to take a little bit of the lubricant and put it over top just to ensure it runs smoothly. There you have it. That is Espresso Canada's SOS maintenance kit. Everything you need to take care of your machine. A bonus to the kit is you'll get half a pound of our freshly roasted espresso beans, which are perfect for super automatics. Your machine is an investment, so we recommend taking care of it with these easy tips and tricks. And then you can enjoy your favorite espresso drinks. Cheers.